This place is magical. So beautiful. It's gorgeous. Quick pit stop in Cameron, Arizona, which is Navajo land. They have this place called Cameron Trading Post. They have a restaurant, a gift shop. So we decided to get a couple artifacts that are handmade by the Navajo. And we're getting lunch at the local restaurant. We got a couple of their local favorites, which are the Navajo tacos and the Navajo chili. Let's eat. This is a huge taco. This is like a sandwich. <laughs> so Bread's good. really good though. It's so good. Look how big this is. This is a taco. Oh, like a burrito. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. Mm. There's a doggy. <laughs> mm. 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 Nice, nice. Whatever this dessert they gave us, this bread right here is super good. You gotta put honey and butter on it. Man, tastes like a, a churro on steroids. There's a dust storm going on outside right now. We were able to see the mountains earlier, now they're just covered in dust. So we are staying at a Courtyard Marriott tonight in Page, Arizona. Being in a van is a little difficult, a little challenging with, with a one-year-old. Since, you know, a toddler, she kind of needs a little bit of space. So we're breaking up our trip two nights in a hotel before we head out on our next leg. Oh snap! We where are we at? We're at a hotel. <laughs> Staying at a hotel tonight. We don't have a rental. Little hotel room. Yeah, we don't have a rental. Yeah, we're staying at a hotel tonight. 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 Yeah, we're staying at a hotel Amanda is making chicken tiki masala inside of the van. Smells in here. Smells good, but damn. Betty. So when we travel, whether we're staying in our van or we're staying in a hotel, we pre-order HelloFresh meals so that we have all of our ingredients already separated for individual meals, whether they're for lunch or dinner, and it just makes planning our meals super easy. And so, tonight we are making chicken tikka masala. So it smells good, it's a little bit of prep work, but we will have dinner ready shortly. Today is our only full day in Page, so we have three things on our wish list. Right now, we're going to do a tour of the Lower Antelope Canyon, and then we're going to see Horseshoe Bend and visit Lake Powell. Antelope Canyon is made up of two unique slot canyons, Upper Antelope Canyon and Lower Antelope Canyon. Because it's located in the Navajo Nation, you have to take a guided tour to enter. We toured Lower Antelope Canyon because it was far more affordable than the tours for Upper Canyon. We chose Dixie's tours for the overall convenience. Other tour guides wanted to pick us up from our hotel. Because we have our toddler, we felt it was too inconvenient to have to strap her car seat into their vehicle and get picked up super early before the tour time even began. Also, other tour guides wanted to charge full price for Madison, which was close to $200. Dixie's did not charge for her, so it was a no-brainer to go with them. The most difficult portion of this hike is the initial descent into the canyon via five flights of stairs, especially if you're carrying someone. During the tour, you walk through the canyon, which is a little over a mile long, and admire the swirling red sandstone walls with light peeking in from the sky. 
Over time, rain and flash flooding rushed through the passageways, resulting in erosion of the Navajo sandstone, thus smoothing the walls to make these beautiful, unique twists and turns. Are you getting through? Yeah. It's a little tight right here. Oh, God. At the time, masks were required to stay on, no selfie sticks were allowed, and you could only bring a clear bag. At this time, face masks are now optional. Our tour guide was very knowledgeable and pointed out all of the unique rock formations and even helped us capture photos of them. So we just finished our tour of Lower Antelope Canyon and it was stunning. You have to see it in person for yourself. Now we're headed to Horseshoe Bend, so let's go. To get to Horseshoe Bend, you pay $10 per vehicle and take an easy one and a half mile round trip hike. So we're in Horseshoe Bend heating up leftovers before we do this mile and a half round trip hike. We're hiking the horseshoe bend. Got Maddie in tow <laughs> and Justin on my side. It's freezing. On my hip. <laughs> A little chilly. The trail to horseshoe bend is a mile and a half round trip and it's fairly easy. And when you arrive at horseshoe bend, you will be amazed. Are you singing? Horseshoe Bend first look. Where are you at? Oh yeah, baby. Damn. Wow. That's beautiful. Wow, look at Horseshoe Bend. Okay, so this place is magical. It is gorgeous, breathtaking. Especially if you have polarized sunglasses, you see all the colors of the water, the blues, the greens. So bring polarized sunglasses. I can't get too close since I have Maddie. I gotta be safe, but. She wasn't on my back then. Go a little bit closer. It's recommended to visit at sunset, but with rain and gray skies in the forecast and a toddler in tow, you go when you get time. This is the scenic view of the Glen Canyon Dam. It's a little uneven to get down. So you gotta be careful, it's slippery. Let's go see what this view looks like. We are in Glen Canyon National Recreation Area. And as you can see, it is raining. We wanted to come to Lake Powell today. That was on our list to go hang out. Madison and Amanda are in the, in the van. There's a winter storm warning coming down this area, Utah and Arizona. So uh, we had such great weather in Sedona and now it's kind of crappy. On the bright side, Juno's getting a shower right now. She was really dirty earlier. 
after yesterday's sandstorm. We're in a little bit of a dilemma right now. Tomorrow, we're supposed to head to Zion for the night, but we saw that there's a severe winter warning that was issued, so we're not quite sure if we'll be able to make it or if we just decide to go to Grand Canyon instead or if we're going to cut our trip short and head home a day early. So fingers crossed we'll be able to go to Zion, but sorry for the toddler playing with the lights. We will see. Thank you.